Hi, I'm Bob Howarth. I'm a professor at Cornell University and I'm here to introduce uh, the abstract of a new paper coming out on the greenhouse gas footprint of shale gas. Uh, natural gas in general and, and shale gas in particular are often promoted as bridge fuels that let society continue to use fossil fuels and, and yet reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And it's true that shale gas and natural gas generally have lower carbon dioxide emissions than uh, do coal or oil, but shale gas is mostly methane and methane is an incredibly potent greenhouse gas. So even small leakages, small emissions to the atmosphere have a huge whammy on the greenhouse gas footprint. Now shale gas is a pretty new phenomenon. Uh, half of all the shale gas ever produced in the world has been produced in the last two to three years. Uh, the government thinks it's going to continue to grow. Right now it's about 40% of the natural gas production in the United States. It was virtually nothing uh, five years or so ago, so it's a big change. The question is how does that change the greenhouse gas footprint of the, the total fossil fuel industries for the United States? Now, Tony and Graffia and I published the first paper on this topic just four and a half years ago. And we said, you know, maybe this isn't such a good bridge fuel. But we also said that the data available were, were fairly poor, and we called for a lot more uh, research by independent scientists. And there's just been an explosion of new papers in, in the time since our paper came out four and a half years ago. So this new paper synthesizes that information. Uh, it casts doubt on some of the low estimates that people uh, have seen because there's new evidence that, in fact, they had equipment problems and that the numbers are artificially low. They're mistakes, if you will. Uh, on the other hand, there's new data showing uh, from satellite imagery, long-term integrated studies from before and after the shale gas boom, showing a global increase in methane in the atmosphere that, in fact, can be attributed to shale gas development in the United States and very high methane emissions. So I've run through all of the arguments on these new papers and then used the best available information and put it uh, in context relative to carbon dioxide. And indeed, it looks like shale gas has a greenhouse gas footprint when methane is included that is two to three times worse than that of coal, also worse than that of conventional uh, gas or oil. So it's a pretty bad problem. I also looked at the entire greenhouse gas inventory for the United States. And from 1980 up until uh, about 2007 or so, there was a gradual increase, some slowdowns due to recession. The carbon dioxide emissions in the United States have gone down since 2007, but when we include methane in the analysis, we actually see a very sharp increase since 2008, a little uh, slowdown in the recession, and then the largest increase in greenhouse gas emissions in our, our nation's history since 2008. 